Hi guys, it's Gav here from DartSonnet.tv and welcome to a new video in the Rolling Back the Years series where we look at some of the world's best dart players and how their throw has changed over the years. In the last video I then start on the show, you will see in this series, we covered Gary Anderson. Had loads of great feedback, lots of views and we're really looking forward to doing this series. Today we're going to be looking at Steve the Bronzed Adonis Beaton. So many people always talk about how consistent Steve's throw is and how he is such a great guideline to those entering the sport and somebody to look up to. We've got two clips here and we put them side by side again. Now one is back from 1992 and one is a recent clip from 2020. Also as always we're going to look at these clips slowed down to 0.125 of a second so that you can see it in real slow motion. So without further ado let's have a quick look at how Steve Beaton's throw has changed over the years. So there we go guys, I hope you enjoyed looking at those clips. Now bear in mind that it's over a 28 year period. Now also I just want to say when we're looking at his throw and time, it's not him walking to the hockey and moving away from the hockey, it is just him from the time to release his free darts. Now both clips you will see are around 6 to 7 seconds, which is incredible considering it's over 28 years that his throw continues to stay the same. Could this be why his throw is highly commended in the darts community and all the world's best players and pundits talk about him? You'll notice in the slow motion, uh, when it was at 0.125 of a second, you can see that very, very, very little has changed, if anything. His motions continue to remain steady and consistent. Um, everything about his throw, he stays really still, um, he keeps himself fit, I think that's another thing, you'll see a lot of players uh, that come in the game, Steve Beaton was about before loads of players that have come and gone, but he is still playing at the same level and probably as good as he ever has done and you know and keep remaining in the top 32 of the PDC, keep qualifying for the match play. I find it incredible, and especially for any youngsters in the game, uh, you'd say, what players should I look at? Steve Beaton would certainly be one of those, and definitely, like I said, with his fitness, the way he throws, the way he enjoys it, he always seems as though he hasn't got any sort of pressures, he just loves playing darts, he's getting paid good money for doing something that he loves. We were actually uh, lucky enough to meet Steve Beaton last year, me, Connor, Ellie and Laura at a charity event. He lives quite uh, local to where we are, in Suffolk as well, he's just in Norfolk, I think he's out North Walsham way. Um, but you have to ask yourself, is this why he has had such longevity in the game? I certainly think so. Uh, let us know what you think about Steve Beaton's throw and how surprised you are over that 28 year period that his throw is almost identical now, or it is identical to what it was back then. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave us a like. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your notifications on. Next time, we're going to be having a look at one of the greatest players to ever pick up, or the greatest player to ever pick up a dart, without doubt. The 16 times world champion, Phil Taylor. It's going to be a good video, and I cannot wait uh, to show you guys it. Take care. Bye.